I personally don't like to lose myself in all my jobs because like I'm a creative and I'm an entrepreneur. Okay, so I'm <sighs> having a pretty good day. It's about two o'clock. I am off work. Where is for the second half of my day? What am I gonna do? Need to get more progress done on the PDF. Also need to just take like three hours and finish the second button down shirt that I'm working on because yeah we got through like step two really quickly and now it's time for the next step the next section of the program so yeah I had to get to Friday for me to feel refreshed I just was like every day I was like trying to um, catch up on sleep and it just was kind of awful like I wasn't feeling terrible mood wise but it was like overall it's like I just so tired because I'm like adjusting to this new new work schedule that I'm on and like still trying to live my life and like do my meditations before I even like start my day at all so that I can be grounded so that's really that's really the main thing it's just like adjusting but this is only like a training um routine for me so then when i actually start i'm gonna be starting on i need to hold the camera up um my lips are terribly dry terrible like look at this oh gosh i don't have a cold sore because of the dryness no but yeah um when i actually start working though um my skin is going to change again so this is just for a little stint but how's everyone doing overall like for real i feel like i'm experiencing a shift in my life the shift has been loading up all year but like i had to be like retested on some things like i failed a couple of tests or like you know it was a little like trial exam let's see if we give her this Ooh, and i ooh, kind of failed on a couple things so passing on them now um and yeah things are going we're like we're going through the phases we're going through the phases and it's good it's going good i am happy to be starting a new job because this will take me into a new gear and it gives me a better work-life balance working in retail and just things that like absolutely drained my body just was not good for me because I was like exhausted from doing nothing like a lot of these retail stores in the city are like not even that busy so it's like you're standing around just waiting for people to join the party you know what I mean and it's just not fun so I'm just really happy that I um, am on a new gig that has nothing to do with what I do with the day to day. It's great. I love it. And it's like not that like, you know, um, part of my body. Um, other than that, I'm just need to prepare for my weekend that I'm having. I am going to go to the farmer's market tomorrow because it's Saturday tomorrow. So I need to make a list. I have not been making lists and that's why I've been lost in the sauce at the farmer's market. So I need to make a list of like meals that I want to make next week. I accomplished my meal, um, my goals for this week as far as like meals. I really wanted to make tacos. I made them amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, what else did I want to make that I made? I think I made a stuffed pepper at the top of the week. I might have. I think so. And I used the, my other bell peppers for other things because I've been like letting my bell peppers go to waste, and that's been like really annoying um, for me and for others. I also made a great soup that I, maybe I should make with something similar um, tonight or something. I don't know, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, what else? Also. Yeah, so I need to figure out what I want to make again. I low key want to make another lasagna because I want to make uh, tomato 
the sauce from scratch so that I could get the impressions down so that I could transfer that back into um, my PDF because the PDF is really almost done as far as recipes go. Um, I just need to add a couple things, add a few examples, take a few pictures, and then just like continue organizing. I have started putting the pages together. Um, I picked out a color scheme. It's all working out very well. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'm really happy to just be like on a ball. I definitely had like, what was it? August, September, October. It was three months pretty much. Really like two into change but like i'm gonna just count august because i was preparing myself for the transition that i have now gone through and i went through like three months of like contemplation of like reorganization of like breakdown breakthrough breakdown breakthrough um but clarity has come out of most of it if not all i don't think there's anything that I'm like unclear about now moving forward I mean I'm moving soon new job um oh he's eating a pizza I wish I'm always gonna crave a pizza that sounds divine but I'm not gonna get one um I'm really excited to clear out um the inventory that I currently have for my business so content I really do want to clear a lot of it out just because I I'm not I don't want to say that I'm ashamed of it but I do feel like I kind of like overstepped on this like first phase that I was doing. Like I really should have entered my second phase this year and I dropped the ball on it. So now phase two is starting in 2024, which is fine. Um, it's happening and it, um, it's all going to be the best launch that I've ever done because all the pieces are going to get pulled together. Um, Girl, when we get pulled together, no matter what, no matter it's at the last minute, all the pieces are gonna get pulled together. So I'm very excited about that because I'm excited to actually showcase my skills, showcase what I can do, showcase what I actually, you know, have in my brain, and not just like this. Like I love all my de designs that I have out. Don't get me wrong, like, I love them. Not that they were, are the best sellers, but. I love all my designs that came out, but I know that, like, they're not, they're not, um, where I want my brand to go, and I don't want to get boxed into a t-shirt, hoodie, um, landscape as far as, um, designs and, like, you know, inventory goes, so we're gonna cut that out, um, very quickly, it's been three years of that, um, what else? Yeah, I'm really just excited to um, start a new week, honestly. I have, like I said, Farmer's Market tomorrow. I also want to see the Beyonce uh, doc um, of the concerts. I definitely want to see that. So I feel like I'm going to see it tomorrow night, which is exciting. Um, what else? Beyonce. Yeah, that's my only plans for the weekend, honestly. Farmer's Market, see the Beyonce film, and then get ready for the next week. I'm going to have a change in my schedule and location for next week. So this week is going to be a lot of packing my stuff up and um, moving to a new place. So that's exciting. Yeah, because we need new space, new energy. I don't necessarily want to um, stay up extremely late just because it's Friday because I want to get accustomed to waking up um, pretty early because um, I like this like 5, 6 o'clock that I've been doing. I'm not mad at it. I've been doing it for all of November so I'm sticking to it. But I also understand that when I do start my actual work schedule that that's going to have to be shifted a little bit but I would like to um go on a good s schedule because I really love to meditate early like that like that I did this mindfulness challenge 
and the challenge is basically like to meditate from six to seven every rising um make a to-do list for the day with like time slots and like stick to it journal every night and vlog yourself doing something you know at some point of the day you didn't have to talk to the blog but you could just like vlog yourself working out vlog yourself on your way to work whatever just to hold yourself accountable and like kind of see like what you're doing how you're feeling or whatever keep track of yourself throughout the month and it was really good um i'm not going to say that i was perfect during the challenge i did like i meditated all of the weekdays um i think i missed like if there were four weekends in november i missed like maybe like two of those weekends possibly only once i think the first one that i didn't meditate during i was like oh no i'm gonna meditate because this shit i feel frazzled as fuck <laughs> so um i think i might only miss one again but um yeah so now that it's not november anymore i still need to hold myself accountable and like stay mindful because like i'm not gonna lie like i like kind of kept forgetting about the correlation because like i do therapy and stuff and most of most of november honestly i wasn't in therapy because i had missed one appointment because i overslept and then my therapist was on vacation so then i didn't see her for like three weeks so i really only saw my therapist i think like the first month of the first week of november and then like a couple days ago so like me and her got like the beginning of the month and end of the month checking which was cool because um i had my um, mindfulness journey group um with me so it was kind of like a you know switching of responsibilities over daima <laughs> oh but um i was actually holding myself accountable very well and i kind of like was like have i actually been like feeling good doing well in november and it's like yeah that challenge like actually really helped me a lot um just like keeping you on the ball like there was definitely times where i would like zone out and like work and like be like picking at my nails like that's my worst thing that i like have to stop <gasps> my bus is coming i'm home i'm home so i scratched myself in the middle of the night at some point which is tragic so i'm home when I get back home from this like training from this job, I like want to do a million things and then nothing at the same time. Today, I really want to continue working on my button shirt, but I'm also thinking like, should I eat a snack before I get into it? Should I do some laundry before I get into it? I don't know. I'm feeling like I might want to eat some of my food. Um. Yeah, because I ate like four hours ago. So maybe I should eat something and then start. Yeah. Um, My lips are killing me. Like, oh, they're so dry this winter. I hate it. I hate it. It just destroys my lips. Um, yeah. Um, what, 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 what? Yeah, I'm going to eat. I got some, um, I don't think I can turn my camera around, like, no, I can't do that here on the iPhone camera. I got some bim bim bap from Coriana. This new schedule, I just, like, I just been, like, kind of wiped out because I'm, like, learning shit all day. So, it feels like school. It's, like, mentally exhausting more than physically exhausting. So, it's, like, my brain just, like, has been, like, you know so i'm gonna cook this really quickly i really should just put it back in the pan and like you know so that's what i'm gonna do because i don't want to screw myself over and be mad when it, it ain't that good so mm -hmm. we're gonna make this eat get into selling because i have more pieces to cut out i believe just like little accessories for the the thing for the for the sleeves i have to figure this out um because i don't have a pattern i'm like just like building it on my own so it's like you know i didn't take that part of the shirt fully apart i can do that as well um but <sighs> um yeah yeah um 
I'm going to make this food and get back to ya. Hi guys. So I am off work and I am about to go back home because I got therapy. So excited. I'm excited for therapy. I do. I like talking to my therapist. She's great. She validates me. You know what I mean? She makes me feel less crazy. Um, yeah, I really like going to therapy. It's nice to talk out your issues. And it's nice when you don't, like, this is a week where I don't have any immediate issues. I don't have anything at, like, the forefront of my brain. So, um... It's nice to have these type of appointments because I can literally just like talk about whatever I want and just like talk about like backed up issues. Like maybe I can talk about some shit from like two months ago, like or just like a subconscious thing. I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Hope y'all know what I mean. Like, I don't have any like impending doom type of problems. So everything that I can talk about is just like, oh, there's no pressure and I'm not like irritated or anything. So it's nice. So I'm uh, um, doing my therapy. And then I don't think I've told you guys because I've just started vlogging that I actually started doing um, cooking classes just with one person, one specific person, my girl, Kira. Shout out to her. Um, she has been wanting to learn how to cook and I post my food all the time and so she's vegetarian I'm vegan so she wanted me to teach her how to cook and so we this um, week will be our third week during our classes together the first week we did stir fry last week we did fried rice vegetable fried rice and this week I believe her and I are going to do stuffed peppers so I'm like trying to show her like things that are basic but also like can be very versatile so like stir fry you can use any assortment of vegetables boom fried rice you can use any vegetables in it and have it as a side have it as a main whatever and then um stuffed peppers you can like do whatever in them but just like getting the general idea down like that's what we're doing is like kind of getting yeah, the general idea down yeah so that's what i am doing today oh now that i'm saying that i'm really i'm like leaning on the wall of the supermarket i should have stopped into giant really quickly just to grab um just to grab um some cheese but i gotta see what time my bus comes and maybe i can run in there Ooh. <laughs> so I just check my time. <laughs> I don't have time to run in there get, to get the cheese because I have to make it back for my therapy appointment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my therapy and then I'm gonna go to my mom's house because that's what I'm doing in class. Um, I may or may not get the cheese in between. Maybe, maybe not if I feel like it. Um. You know, you smell certain things and then you just kind of just like, just sparks your attention. I'm not gonna lie, like, I smelled the weeds and I was like, who's smoking? Who's smoking? I'm not smoking because I ain't got it on me. Um, but yeah, I may or may not get cheese for a recipe. It's not necessary because you can do without it. Just need to get the basics of the, um, of the recipe down but we will get it down nonetheless um but yeah i think we're gonna do some stuffed peppers so we're gonna do like green peppers some zucchini in there probably some onions rice maybe like one more vegetable potentially but we might just keep it really simple just like season it in a certain type of way like i think we're gonna do curried stuffed peppers i haven't done those in a while i would like some and i will let her to try it so that's what we're gonna do it's gonna be good i'm excited 
I like here a lot and this is cool this is a new avenue for me like I've never I've taught things you know in like short spurts you know what I mean but like this is a class that I'm hosting and I can't expand it after this if I you know desire so this is good it's like getting me like really loosey-goosey especially because um especially because um I'm doing this YouTube thing now I'm doing I'm gonna be doing you know cook with me some tutorials and like stuff like that so cooking with Kara is kind of like giving me that flow in my little teaching bag. So this is exciting. I'm drinking some um, some Earl Grey tea. It's very good. It's giving me a weird aftertaste though, I'm not gonna lie. I had like a little like, like a little cough drop before it. So I think that's what's like affecting the taste. I don't wanna believe that this Earl Grey tea is just tasting as weird. Cause I, don't, I really don't think it's that. Oh, I think I see my bus coming. Yes. <laughs> it was very delayed today. So I'm excited. I still won't be late though. This is a very quick bus ride. But yes, I see my bus. I think, I think, I think, I think. Yeah. I'm excited though, guys. This is fun. This is fun. I'm just going to edit all this footage and then you guys will see it. But a good day. Uh, I've been hold, hold. I'm at my mom's and I'm about to start my cooking class. Kara just got here. YouTube channel. I like started my YouTube, so now I'm like, this is Kara. <laughs> this is Kara. She's the best model ever. Thank look, look, look. You <laughs> holding up my package. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Is that for your cooking? Um, this is for my YouTube. I'm I'm not gonna just do cooking on my YouTube. I'm gonna do like a little bit of everything. So this is just I'm just filming. I don't know when I'm gonna put this up, but I'm just okay. like motivating myself. So I keep like vlogging, so then yeah. I can have like a storyline. <laughs> Hi guys, this is a little sneak peek of me in my uniform at work. Oh. Um, um, I never finished my vlog from yesterday. Of showing you guys what me and Kara ended up cooking. I told you guys we were cooking the stuffed peppers, the curry ones. They were so good. I didn't even eat an actual stuffed pepper. I just had like a spoon of the filling because typically, like in the first two weeks, um, the first two weeks, her and I would like sit and enjoy the meal together. Um, but this time I was like in a time crunch. So typically Kara and I, we enjoy the meal together, but we didn't do it this time because I was in a time crunch. So, and I wanted to save more time um, by not having to pack my lunch or cook my lunch. So I had us make two peppers so that she can eat one and I can have one. So that's what we did. So usually she'll take a meal home, but I didn't have a container for her to take um, to take a meal home. So we just, she just ate the peppers and I took my peppers back with me. Um, it was really good though. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you them. I'm just like rushing around because I have to make sure that I'm like sat down for breakfast. Like in a few minutes, I'm making oatmeal. Um, I'm making oatmeal. <sighs> Give me a sec. So excuse the terrible presentation. Obviously, they were rolling all around when I had them in one of my bags on my way back here. But we did super like super simple. She was so surprised at like how simple this filling was but it was so freaking good so we did jasmine rice um zucchini onions that's literally it like we chopped up a whole small zucchini and a half of a large onion and just seasoned it with curry adobo black pepper garlic powder um um we sauteed all of that in sesame oil we added a little turmeric for color and I think that was everything. It was such a simple recipe. Like, she was shocked. Um, and she loved it. She really, really loved it. So, I'm going to have stuffed peppers for lunch. And I am just so excited because I've been craving curry. 
been craving curry. I haven't had curry in like a few years. So this is exciting. I did eat curried vegetables for lunch a couple days ago, but this is like more concentrated curry flavor. And this is a curry that I really like. I'll show you the curry. Um, it is... This is the curry. So I got this from the Asian market. I used to get this from H Mart when I used to be going there, but they had this at my like the closer um Asian market in my house. This is just like a Japanese curry. It's really good. It comes in like this this long um little like tray and it like it's not actually sectioned off like that, but they just like give you a suggested like serving size for like how much you should cut off for your meals or whatever so it's really really good like it smells great um i got the medium hot spice level so it's not too spicy but it's like a little tiny 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 bit you can always add more like um you can add cayenne pepper you can add um um you know, red pepper flakes or something, chili powder, whatever you want to make it more spicy. But Kira doesn't really like spicy too, 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 too much. So I felt like that was the perfect spice level. And it was. And it was. So I'm about to put my oatmeal in a bowl. Make me a couple pieces of toast and eat. I really just wanted to finish off from yesterday because I just didn't want that to be incomplete. Because we're on a roll. I typically like really need it's weird I feel like my taste buds have been like very um my taste buds have been like definitely changing a lot in the last like couple years I feel like just in a couple last couple months I feel like as I'm approaching 20 oh, I shouldn't have done that um as I'm approaching 23 feel like i'm going through a lot of like taste bud changes like i've never been like a super high 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 sugar person and lately i've been like kind of craving sugar a lot like i typically don't even put sugar in my oatmeal i usually put like honey or like i'll sweeten it with like fruit and like dates and stuff but lately like the sugar craving has kind of been like ridiculous i'm not gonna lie to you like, i've been like thinking about it and i'm like you're doing too much. Um, I was looking it up like, okay, what mineral deficiencies or what vitamin deficiencies um, cause like sugar craving. And I saw that it said like magnesium, zinc, um, calcium, iron. So I do take a magnesium, zinc, calcium like all in one vitamin every day you have to take i have to take that like scared me i take that vitamin already every day i have to take three a day and they're pretty big um so i'm hoping that that like um uh, what's the word like curb curbs my craving um but yeah um that shit's been very weird for me because I've been like, like, I had a cinnamon roll in the last like week or two. I had, um, I've had ice cream like in the last like two months, maybe like, yeah, like probably two months ago I had some ice cream. But it's just like the, it's been like more like consistently craving sugar and I just don't want that um so what am i saying i was saying a lot um 6 40 oh my sleep oh gosh yeah i went to sleep really late just because i did my class with kira we got done around like 8 i feel like like 8 30 um but then i she offered to bring me back here which was so sweet of her um and i have a pop-up on friday so I was like gathering my things for my pop up and like I left my laptop at my mom's house. So I um I um had to get make sure I had my laptop and make sure I had like all my stuff in my pop up. And I still might have to go back for my clothing rack for my pop up, but um, um yeah. So I ended up going to bed at like eleven o'clock because. 
I had to like just like get my mind together. Had to do a load of laundry. Um, had to just make sure that I was set for the next day. Um, just get comfortable. Oh, I gotta put my earrings on. Um, yeah, I don't like rushing around in the morning, and like if I can do as least things as possible in the morning, that's good. So, came in and I look at my bra because this dress is a little big, it's a size small. They didn't have two extra smalls, they only had one small for my work uniform. Oh, my hiccuping, my work uniform. So and the other dress option, like this is a longer dress. It comes to like a little bit past my, eh, like probably like to my knee or something. The other one is like short, like, like mid high thigh. I don't know. I'm not doing that at work. I'm not a big dress person. Like, I just started getting to dresses like. A couple of years ago, like, like I finally and like skirts and stuff. Like, if like skirts was like this year, like I didn't wear a skirt but this year, and then dresses like the last couple of years, like two years maybe, and like it started off me only really wearing them like in the summertime, like when it's like super hot, and like I finally understand the function of dresses, like for that matter, you know what I mean. But, um, yeah, dress is not really my thing, but I'm not mad at it, you know, for the uniform. For work, I'll do it, whatever. This is my first job that I actually have a uniform, I'm not gonna lie. I'm usually, like, not that type. Because I personally don't like to lose myself when I'm at jobs because, like, I'm creative and I'm like, I'm an entrepreneur, you can get really lost at jobs and just like all of a sudden have tunnel vision for their business, and then you just lose yourself. Even if you don't have your own business or you're not creative. Some people, a lot of people just get lost in their jobs and don't have a life anymore. Or like interests or anything outside their job. So I never had a uniform job because it's just like, oh, I'm like becoming a new person. And I'm like going, like, you know, but I'm embracing new things. And I feel like I'm more mature now. Although my other jobs I've had, I didn't have to wear a uniform. I didn't have to pay that cost. I really paid the cost of like my sanity. And, um, no like not much work-life balance because I was working other retail jobs for like three years and it just really like slowed me down in my creative process because I'm like being creative for them and like worrying about their clothes and worrying about their mannequins and worrying about their this and their merchandising and all of this stuff um I lost myself a little bit like I was working at Express for a while, like, in, like, in two years, like, cumulatively. COVID, like, broke it up. But, oh, my gosh. Like, oh, my gosh. When I, when I first got there, I didn't have my business yet. So, I was, like, out of high school, and I just was working. Like, I just was working. F it. You know what I mean? And it was good, because I took a gap year after high school. So... I don't know what to do about the work. When I first started there, I was working two jobs. So I was just working. And it was absolutely fine because I didn't have anything else that I was really doing. I just wanted to make money. But then, COVID, quarantine, by the time that I came back to Express, I had a business. I started my business in June 2020. Technically July, but the idea was uh, cultivated in June. Well, um, 
I came back and I was there for a few months. I realized like I haven't made anything. Like I had I had started my business off well, great sales, great everything for the most part, you know what I mean? Like it started off really, really good. But um I definitely gave myself a good amount of stuff to like cushion myself. I had like five t-shirts out, different color. I had um not when I came right back to Express, but I think oh, I think actually maybe like a month after or something like that. Um, I have released socks. So I had things already set up and lined up so that when I first got back there, it wasn't a problem because everything was still like kind of on autopilot a little bit because I had things set up already for the designs. But after that stuff starts slowing down, after that stuff starts selling, I found myself not making anything, not drawing anything, not coming up with any new ideas. Like I just was selling my t-shirts and I was working and then I was promoted and then I was promoted again and I was asked to be a manager and then I was there basically, I think I was there full time at 19 and 20, like ugh, it was so much work because I was getting paid so little money. So I was like, I want to work full time because I'm getting paid like thirteen dollars an hour, and that was my raise. Yeah, yeah. This new job, I'm new to it, so I'll see. But I think it's more like there's a lot of people that work there, but the job itself is like a, an alone type of job. Even when you have to switch out with people or someone has to like help you do something. It's really like kind of mindless. Like you just do what you're there to do at the time you're supposed to do it and just go. So I'm excited for it. Cause the job I'm doing has nothing to do with clothes, fashion, art and nothing. So it's great because before I used to have to do something that I was remotely interested in, but now I'm like, finding that like I can do something that's interesting but like you know like nothing to do with me because I, I at the retail stores that I worked at clothing stores shoe stores I would be offended sometimes I'm not gonna lie like opening up some of those like shipments because I was like I was always in stock rooms because I just that was like something that I'm good at I'm good at organization when it comes to like retail stock rooms, warehouse management, all of that stuff. So I was doing a lot of that. So I was like receiving shipment a lot of times. And especially at Express, oh my gosh, like the volume, the amount of stuff that they received, they got shipping like almost every day. It was boxes and boxes and boxes of shit. And it would be terrible shit a lot of times. Like, especially towards the end of me working there oh things got so terrible I was, i'm so happy i'm leaving because this is ridiculous like you can't expect me to sell this you know what i mean i don't know you're working somewhere you're like i don't like you want somebody to beat my ass <laughs> what what is this what is this terrible terrible stuff sometimes the press was a strange place it's just funny when, like, you know, life is supposed to just, like, learn everywhere you go. And, like, it's just so interesting because, like, because I want, you know, to grow my brand more and more. I just learn about the different type of customers there are versus different type of workers there are and all of that stuff. It's just so interesting, the cultures of different companies. Like, some companies, I, like could deal with my coworkers more, but like the customers were just like insane people, insane. Like Express breeded a very like obsessive, compulsive, addicted customer. Like it was very like, 
the the um what's that word like epitome of like a fast fashion customer like they were addicted a lot of them like there was this one woman that would come in like three times a week at least she will buy say first day she comes in is monday monday she will buy like 200 dollars worth of shit mind you this was like an outlet store so like that was like a pretty good amount of stuff come in monday come back tuesday turn half of it then come back thursday buy more by monday she's back returning half of what she bought on thursday and buying more like it was so like it got to a point that when she would walk in i would even have the little headset i would be on the headset i'm like i'm not helping her because i'm going to like start like giving her a therapy session because why are you in here three times a week And you can just tell, like, it wasn't like, oh, like, she had money and she just loved, like, the stuff so much. You could tell, like, she was, like, anxious and, like, sad. She was not happy. And she would come in there and just, like, very, like, this I about everything. And, like, there's no people that, like, and she had, like, the credit card, too. So, it was like, girl, you don't even have the liquid to be buying this shit. You're just, just spending just to spend. Just spending just to spend. Like, the people that got the credit cards they used to crack me up i'm not gonna lie because it just it used to get ridiculous because oh gosh i'm not doing a credit card for my business i'm not doing that that is i feel like that's like a little sick like i get it for like bigger stores and different brands and then like nordstrom and stuff like that but the victoria secrets the expresses Oh, those that just, like, prey on customers, like, I feel like that's sick. So, I don't know. But that was a nice chat. I'm about to finish eating my breakfast because I don't know what time it is. And I just got to make it out here all the time. like june of this year like june so i didn't know what to expect and this was a different um type of pop-up this was run this was at upenn and this was ran by the upenn students um the monolith arts program shout out to them shout out to them they were amazing they ran this event better than so many other events that I've done like truly they did a beautiful job um it was a two-hour event and I mean I made a great amount like I sold a great amount of things like truly I sold a few hoodies I sold a couple of tees I sold plenty of socks like it was such a great turnout I really do love college students they're my peers um, I do love college students as a business. I think that they appreciate the art and the messaging and the sustainability aspect like all together versus like a lot of other um, events that I do. People will like, people will like one thing about it, but then like not want to pay or like they will just like overlook the sustainability aspect but like oh i like the art but like 
not even consider like oh like this is why this is quality this is why this matters the college students kind of understand it a little bit more well-rounded so I'm about to make me some tea like this was such a great day um I had a great day it was so smooth I worked and did my whole shebang and it's literally only 7 30 and I feel good I actually feel like I have some type of energy to cook that's what I'm about to do right now but I'm about to make me some chrysanthemum tea um to make me some chrysanthemum tea as I cook and as everything is cooking. I had some uh, veggie fried dumplings for lunch today along with some kimchi and some rice and edamame and I have some of that, all of that left over. So I will be eating the rest of that stuff but I'm going to add I'm going to add some extra veggies because I didn't really have like a full meal today. Um, I didn't have a full meal today. So this is going to be my meal. I'm going to have some rice. I'm going to have some, I think we'll make some Brussels sprouts, oyster mushrooms, onions, peppers, and then put some cilantro in there, some ginger. Just make it real good. Yeah, it's going to make it really good. Getting on it, but these are my veggies. They're pretty much done. Just waiting for the other stuff to heat up. Got some dumplings, my stir fry over rice, and mommy on the side. It looks so, so, so good. I'm so excited to eat it. 